Hey guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here, and we are back in antimatter chemistry, picking up uh, yeah, kind of where we left off. So in between episodes, I was just kind of looking at a couple things, and one thing I found was we are going to need where to go this stuff. Uh, it is uh, acetane. That sounds dirty. Um, acetate, acetate. Anyways, and the way we get that, because we I looked at this, this is that uh, strain sand from that other dimension, and it does not break down, but it does make this glass, and if we click over on this, we can see this does break down, and this is what gives us that stuff, so we actually got a new chemical. I did make a redstone furnace, it wasn't a quest, but I just want to make something that might cook a little bit faster and not use up our coal as quickly, so I made that. And I've just been bringing this over here and doing that. So it pretty much makes silicone dioxide, which we have a dumb amount of this stuff. As you guys know, this comes from every bit of uh, uh, every bit of cobble and, and everything else. So, um, so we got plenty of that, but we've been getting that kind of stuff in here. So we're going to try to attempt to get through some of this stuff today. So first and foremost, we need to make a loot fabricator. Loot fabricator must be crafted in the crafting station. Craft table creates loot based on the, the pristine mob matter you put in it. We will get to that in a minute. So, let's go see if we have everything we need to do this. I'm hoping we do. Let's check it. All right. Loot fab. All right. So, let's see. What are we missing? All right. So, we need one of these. Okay. I didn't want to do too much off camera. All right, there's that. So we got that. We need to make this. What are we missing? We're missing these guys. So one, two, three, four. There's those. And then we should have the ingots we need right here. All right, perfect. Put those in. And now we should be able to make this. And we can. Nice. And then the last thing we need is dandelion yellow. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. And we'll just uh, just get what we need. And that's all. Put these back. And now we have ourselves a loot fabricator. Let's hope that was we only needed one. Sweet. We only needed one. Cool. That gives us a little great. Okay. So, um, for any of you guys that are unfamiliar with this mod, it is... I'm probably not helping the situation right now. But we're going we're gonna to work on what all of this stuff is for. So what it wants us to make, it wants us to make a skeleton data model, a creeper data model, a blaze data model, and a zombie data model, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make those four up, or attempt to real quick. Let's see exactly what we need. So first we're going to need blank data models. We need four of these, okay? And this is actually, oh, this is actually in the chemical combiner. Interesting, we haven't done a recipe in there. So we are going to need, let's see, two, four, six, eight of these. So let's see if we have what we need. All right, perfect. And then, nope, not what I wanted. And then we're going to need some cobalt. Uh, let's see if we actually have some in here. We do. So we're going to need, I think, eight of these, right? Was it? Uh, why do I only have four of these? Wait, hold on. Um... What's the thing called again? Data. All right. Let's see. Two a piece, and I gotta make four. So yeah, I need eight of these. Okay. And then uh, actually, we're gonna need sixteen cobalt for everything we're gonna make. All right. And then uh, let's see. We're gonna need. <coughs> uh, pandelium ingots, which we get from pandelium. Now we're going to need 16 of these as well. Let's see how many I made. I made 20, so that's good. Uh, I just basically took the stuff. I don't know where it's at. Pandelium, it's around here somewhere. Anyways, but I, I made it in ingots, so okay, we got that. We got that, we got that, we got that. And then we're going to need a stack of this stuff. So this is what we need the astine for, and then uh, Hassamum, Hassan, uh, Saddam Hussein. We need Saddam Hussein for that. 
all right so let's go ahead and grab uh, that stuff is right here so let's grab two of those and then two of these I'm gonna come over to this guy unlock the recipe oh, there it is unlocked. and then it was this and that resume okay that's giving us what we need that should actually be enough because we just need a stack yeah that'll be enough that'll be one stack okay so we'll put that stuff away and wait for this to come down and then we should have everything so this will this will work out uh kind of nicely and then we're gonna have uh hopefully our four data modules if my math was correct all right so this stuff went in the middle and then we have these guys on each side and then it was these in the corners and then i need 16 these i don't need an eight lock recipe there we go and resume perfect that worked out great all right so now that we have these data blank data modules we're going to take these all right and then to make the zombie one we just have to put it together with some flesh so there's that and that and now we have our zombie one we were going to need let's just double check zombie blaze creeper skeleton okay uh let's get our skeleton one so that's with a bone that's pretty simple our creeper one is with gunpowder you can kind of see the uh the thing here and then our blaze one is going to be with blaze powder now that's something i was afraid of oh we do actually have two blaze rods perfect all right so let's go ahead and do that and that all right so we got all four of those so let's go ahead and collect this stuff up real quick collect our little goodies here all right nice 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 and okay zombie flesh great put that away real quick um put this stuff away as well all right so the way that this works to start out we have to go kill mobs with this thing on in our inventory right so let's put all this stuff in here so we're going to take this deep learner and we're actually going to put in our four things we have okay so right now their tier is faulty and it shows how much data that we've collected zero of six so zero of six skeletons same thing with blazes same thing with creepers and the same thing with zombies so as of right now these don't really do anything so let's go ahead and head over to our mob grinder here and see if we can get a little, little lucky, if you will. Almost said yes. All right, so we're going to break these out. Is this thing full? Holy Jesus. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I, I've been AFK on the server for a little while because I was waiting for some things to go. I didn't realize this was so full. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to set these in the system. I will process these later. Let's just get these out of the way for now. All right, so we need to go kill stuff. And I'm hoping this works. Now, obviously, the blazes aren't going to be in here, but I'm hoping that the rest of them will survive long enough to where we can get them. All right, so there was a creeper. Come on, get closer. So now if we look in here, and we go over creeper, we have one of six. That's perfect. Uh, there's a skeleton. Okay that creeper will come just a little bit closer all right we need zombies to survive and come on oh that skeleton just disappeared there we go stop dying fall softer fall quicker there we go double shot got him got him anybody else want to dance <laughs> I want to get the first three going here. Oh, stop it. All right, let's look real quick. So we got three of six, two of six, three of six. All right. So all we really need to worry about is getting to that first tier level up. Come closer, buttholes. What? How did he die? Did he just die of boredom? All right. So skeleton, we got to the basic tier. That's all we need to worry about there. 
Alright, we just gotta get... I wanna get Creeper and Zombie up there as well. There's that, there's that, there's that. Okay, stop dying, you wieners. Some of them are just tougher than the other ones. Alright. I don't care if you fall, I'm just gonna eat this pizza. Ha! Damn it, didn't work. Oh. No, no more skeletons. I already got I already collected all those. I like Pokemon. Alright, there we go. Come closer. Come closer. Come stop hiding from me, you ding dongs. There we go. Creeper. 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 Alright, we got the zombie one. I just I need this. I just hope this isn't a bad idea. Alright. Where are we at from a creeper standpoint? Let's look. Our creeper is at Oh, oh, we hit creeper. Okay, and uh and zombie. Okay, cool. So we we I, I guess I missed one. Alright, let's put this back. And then let's uh, kill these guys off so we can put our spikes back. Can you guys can you guys die already? Can you guys die, please? Sure, now that I want it empty. Let's get our spikes ready. Oh, our spikes are in the chest right here. Where did my spikes go? Alright, here we go. Could you die there, sir? Go away! The absolute worst. I swear to God. Now, he, oh sure, now. All right, and boom, and boom, and then we'll put down that. Okay, that thing is back to being on its own. All right, so now that we got these all up to basic, you can see that if we look at it, we'll use the uh, creeper one. <coughs> Tier basic data collected four of forty-eight because I killed four afterwards. And data per kill is four. Oh, okay. So now every time you get a kill, it's, it's worth four. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we have to go make some um, polymer clay. I think it's called. Let's check that out. Um, yeah, this stuff right here. Not too bad. Iron, gold, clay, lapis. I'm out of clay. Seriously. There we go. All right. That's enough to at least get us started. Let's just grab a solid stack of this. All right. So now we go up to those simulation machines. And I know a lot of you guys already know this stuff, in just in case. All right. So we're going to go ahead and throw some of this clay in. It's kind of like it's fuel. And then we're going to take out the creeper one. Okay. We're going to put the creeper one in here. And you can see it's going. Launch and run time. Okay. Loading model from chip memory. Accessing threat level. Engaged enemy, pristine uh, procurement failed, processing results. And then it's just going to keep doing that. Now, if you notice, we're getting overworldly in matter. Can be consumed for uh, experience, right click, hold shift to consume entire stack, but it does something else. So it failed again. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this other stack in here and let's go ahead and use the skeleton one. All right, so we're going to toss the skeleton one in here, and it's pretty much going to do the same thing. Now, the pristine chance, because it's a basic, is 5%. But if we actually look at this now, we now have 7 to 48. Each time this rolls through, it's going to add another one. When it goes from basic, it's going to go to the next level, and this pristine chance. But we did get one. Pristine, p pristine creeper matter. So that's not bad for a 5% chance. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. And let's see how many of them it wanted us to get. It wants us to get eight. So we're just going to have to kind of hold off on that one. So basically, this is just a mob farm without having to actually produce the mobs. This is great. Really, this is one of those mods that was kind of made not only for tech packs, but also for the fact that... Um, uh, it helps reduce lag, especially on multiplayer servers. So if you're making a multiplayer server, this is always a good way to do mob farms. Um, our power's not great. And we may have to address that soon. I may have to make some more of those things. That might be a in-between episodes kind of thing. So these are just going to run. Let's see. We have yet to get another one. So let's look at our quest. So one of our quests is to get 32 of the stuff. Obtained by putting the data module of a mob found in the overworld in the uh, simulation chamber. That's going to get us a reinforced upgrade, which is nice. 
and basically it's going to want us to get eight of all of these now if we look at this warning uh if ingested uh consumer can experience dimensional phasing an end cake you guys know this but in this version you're gonna make a cake we gotta have four of all these matters plus a bunch of lithium which i get a feeling oh i get a feeling we have plenty of because that's something we get but getting to the end is going to be very helpful so let's kind of see how we're going here so we got another one of these and we haven't got one from here yet but as you can see these are definitely going up and uh once they hit the next level it'll kind of go so i'm not going to use it right now but pretty much what this machine does is you put this in and then you can chew here i think i can do it without consuming it let's see you choose what you want to get so it's like killing a mob so off of this one matter, we can either get 24 gunpowder or four creeper heads. Um, let's see, did we get a skeleton one yet? Not yet. So it, it, it's it's kind of nice because then you can, you don't get as much garbage that you don't want. You can just store these things away, and it's it's really helpful. And you can pretty much do if we look here, look at data. Um, <clears throat> you can see we have you know Enderman. You have uh, now this is the wither itself and then you have an end dragon so you can actually use this to do end dragons uh shulkers guardians um thermal elementals uh different slimes ghasts so like wither skeletons this is good if you're trying to get wither skeleton schools because you just get one prestige you get enough of all that now the only issue is the only thing we don't have in here which we're going to kind of finish off this episode do and we're going to let that run is um is blazes so we're gonna have to i don't remember if i have a fortress save in here let's go look and so we're gonna pop off to the nether and like i said it's only asking for those four so i'm probably not gonna get a whole lot deeper into it okay so we need to get we still have our blaze one in here right we need to get six blazes. We just got to kill six blazes, and they're right here, so that works out. And this is great once you get to pristine, because then you can get blaze rods and all that fun stuff from them. So, all right, so let's do this and see if we can get our six before the end of the episode. I really should have blocked this room off, or whatever. It's fine. Okay, so that should be two. I'm not spamming. I'm not spamming. I'm learning, people. Alright, that should be five. That should be five, I believe. Let's double check. Uh, yeah, so we just need one more. Now, you can keep doing this manually to get them up if you don't want to use so much of that polymer clay stuff. I just would rather let the machine do it. So, right, here we go. And there we go. So now we have that one. That's all we needed to do to get that one started. So, Let's go ahead and pop back to the portal. Let's head back to our the safety of our antimatter world. And it also helps that we got a couple blaze rods too, right? We got five. Nice. <coughs> All right. Now let's just see them real quick. Uh, uses. Breaking these down. No. No, no, no. I want to break them down. All right, let's see what the uses. Uses. Uh, sulfur, carbon. I don't know if I have that. 32? Have I done that one? Let's go see. Uh, it'll be right here. Yeah, we have a decent amount of that. All right, so let's go see if we've gotten any more of our guys here. So we got another one from cre uh, the Creeper ones. All right, it's run 20 times. You can see it goes up a little bit each time, but it is burning through this polymer clay stuff. We have not gotten a one from uh, our skeleton. Oh, there we go. We got our first skeleton one. Sweet. So as you can see, we put the skeleton one in here. We can choose uh, skeleton heads, um, bones, or arrows, which is kind of nice. Perfect. All right. So let that go. I am going to have to get more clay. Uh, make more polymer clay and basically I'm just gonna let these guys run their course um, in between episodes I think I'm gonna go grab that overworldly matter real quick just to kind of show you guys that plus we can uh, go ahead and cross that one off the quest book here all right and we get that it's nice we'll hold on to that for something special 
All right. So we see here we hit uses on this. We can use it to make stuff. So this plus slime plus string. We can make actual cobwebs. Use to make gunpowder. This is kind of nice if we want to get a spider eye. Like my mob spawner doesn't do much with spiders, so I wouldn't have any of those. Uh, you can make a lot of the mobs up. This is kind of nice. Rotten flesh plus the stuff gives you eight iron ingots. Um, you can use this to basically change some of the food things. You may not have found them yet. Um, that's kind of, that's handy. I think that's going to be definitely handy. The nether quartz into prismarine shards. Uh, you can make your own dirt blocks with dirt leaves and this stuff. And then there is another level of these clay. I'm going to need to make clay. That's perfect. We got plenty of dirt. Um, you can make loot crates with some of them. That seems kind of like a waste. And then you can just straight up make dirt with them as well. So that's kind of handy. And then this one is kind of the next one up. Um, so let's go ahead and uses on this. And you can see we can kind of make nether-based stuff um, using these. So that's kind of handy. And then we've got the next one up. We go uses. Uh, we can make, you know, some of the, the uh, end stuff out of this one. And I think that's kind of where it stops. So there's a overruled one, a nether one, and an end one, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So... All right, let's go ahead and just kind of clean up the inventory real quick. And I will be working on this stuff. We will have everything we need. We will have these bad boys uh, up all the way by the time the next episode airs. And we should be working our way to head off to the end in the next episode. And maybe get a little, uh, put a little dragon notch on the old bell, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to sleep with a dragon, you know what I mean. And I'm probably going to have to work on some... Uh, new power configs as well so all right guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up questions comments concerns put it down in the comments section uh and uh make sure you hit the subscribe button click that bell so you get notified when my videos go live it is uh near the beginning of may this is the time to come join the patreon head on over to the patreon link has all the information on what you can do um, you can not only help support what I do, but you can get access to our six different Minecraft servers, which we actually uh, have a new squad pack up. It's it's running perfectly. Don't ask questions. And uh, yeah, get access to all six of those servers, plus our Discord where you can come hang out. Should chat with myself and the rest of the squad, plus all the awesome patrons. And then lastly, if you want to get your very own server for all of your multiplayer fun with your pals, you can do that by heading on over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know that you can, you're can you coming from one of our videos. And until the next episode, I want to thank each and every one of you so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.